Ready to fight? Ready. Let's do well, it. Well, huge buzz for this fight, and round one is now underway. A clash of styles in some respects between a grappler and a five-tool player type, but certainly the more well-rounded fighter has no problem engaging in the game. No, he doesn't mind grappling, but he also has the ability to fight on the feet, something the grappler does not really feel comfortable with doing. He seems to be behind the eight ball a little bit, but let's see how he manages getting this fight to the ground. Real quick leg kick. Oh, really using his reach advantage there as he lands the punch, DC. Well, the leg kicks have been a big storyline in this one, and there's another one, so he continues to slow his opponent down, and nice poker face on the other side. I'm not sure how many more he can take. He won't be able to take many more. Think about Edson Barbosa how he lands those beautiful leg kicks, no wind up so fast. Eventually, guys get stopped from taking too many. This seems to be the path that he is wanting to take tonight in this fight. So Hudo gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. And they separate. Looked like he clipped him with a left hand counter there. Oh, nice check on the leg kick off right there. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Just out of range with that strike. So just over 20 total strikes have now landed for Henry Cejudo. Look at him with his hip to that kick. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh, gorgeous combination of strikes. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Two minutes have expired off the round one clock here. Nice punch lands over the top. Good series of strikes for him there, staying busy and staying active. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Whoa! And he comes through with a big knee. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Oh, and another leg kick lands flush. And the best fighters in the world are those who make adjustments. He hasn't made many so far. Yes, he needs to make adjustments. So, one thing you can do is close the distance. Don't give him space to leg kick you over and over again. Get close, fight from the clinch. Take that leg kick away by managing the distance. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. There's no give on that leg kick. What a punch. Oh, connects with the one-two. Throws the right hand there. Got clip of the right hand. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Back and forth we go! Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Good punch. On. I know you guys do a lot of this training with your jiu-jitsu coach there in San Jose. Oh, absolutely, but it's a difference. If your feet are on a hip, it's a problem. So we shove them through the middle. That'll do it! Oh, and there comes the stoppage. He got it! Oh, absolutely one for the highlight reel right there. A tremendous kick to spell the end of the night for his opponent, and for him, I should say, but just caught him flush, full force, beautiful extension on the kick, and. The fight was really over as soon as that one made contact. I'm not even sure he was conscious when he hit the canvas. Outstanding performance here tonight.
Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's going to stop in this contest at four minutes, 15 seconds in the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Henry the Messenger to who?